You can set various advanced parameters of the BP85 through the master retail utility such as number of rate slabs, bill and report settings and so on. It is a convenient way to manage what is printed in reports and bills. Launch the master retail utility. Click configure master settings. We start in the advanced settings tab. If you do not need three separate rate slabs, you can set it to less. Under rate slab settings, choose one from the drop down box. Set the font style for total amount in the next section. We leave it at large font bold. We leave the device settings and other settings to their default values. Now click on bill settings tab. Here we can set what fields get printed in the bill. The date of billing and time of billing are enabled by default. While we leave all default enabled settings as they are, we also add a check mark to print unrounded total amount. Click on the report settings tab. Here we can configure what fields are printed for each type of report as well as the bill. The type of report is chosen from the report type drop down list. For bill format, we add a check mark to the VAT option. The changed form of the report is immediately shown in a preview below. Note that a VAT column has now been added. Add a check mark to the discount option. A discount column gets added to the bill. Add a check mark to the serial option. A serial number for each item now appears on the bill. Similarly, you may choose and change the printable options in the other report formats, namely the bill wise report, item wise report, day wise report, and in our demo, we now choose day wise report. We uncheck the date option. When we have completed configuring, we are going to save the file. So click on the save icon. Navigate to a convenient location. Name the file and then click save. This master file is now available for use in the user retail utility.